<clears throat> the numbers just came out. Inflation hasn't tamped down that much. It's come down a little bit, but this is setting the stage. It's October. What's going to happen in November and what's going to happen in December when the Fed meets is the interest rates are going to continue to go up. Now, that's this year. So what we're going to see, and I've been scouring the internet, and people are really, really in feeling inflation. I saw a comment where I went to the grocery store and literally the prices have gone up 10% in the last two weeks. So at the moment, Americans are really, really sensitive to upward prices. Now, here's the thing that I think that you should be doing. Let's have this conversation. If you're just dealing with inflation from a standpoint of a sitting duck posture, hey, inflation's coming, I have less money, I have more expenses and you're stressed out, take a deep breath and come up with an action plan. I've been on YouTube 14 years and the message hasn't changed. Make more money. There's nothing you can do to prepare or brace yourself for inflation if you're in a situation where you have a lot of debt, you have car payments, credit card payments, um, you just have debt. There, there's nothing you can do to protect yourself from inflation if you just have an average job and you're just going to suffer. I mean, I don't mean to be mean or to belittle people, but unless you take a proactive stance against inflation, you're just going to be a victim of inflation. And one of the things that you need to be really, really careful about, because this is the first quarter of this football game. We're still in the first quarter. We're not even near the second quarter. And the second thing that's gonna happen is layoffs. Layoffs are coming. So if you're a person that has a lot of debt, that is experiencing financial pressure because of inflation. If you get laid off, that's going to be the final nail in the coffin because during this period, and it's going to become very pronounced in 2023 and 2024, that people on the edge, right there on the edge, are going to get knocked off the edge. They're going to um, experience the global reset. And what is the global reset? These are people who are living in houses will move to apartments. People living in apartments will move to vans or be homeless. What you're seeing is a, a downward shift in the standard of living of the average American. And it's not going to get better any time soon. It's not going to get better. It's not going to be a significant change of things unless you get active changing your situation. Inflation isn't bothering me. I don't tell you that to brag. I don't tell you that to boast. I tell that to you to impress upon you my thesis, make more money. And, you know, I hate to say it, but there are some people who are going to suffer some really harsh 
economic realities during this global reset season. Because this isn't just going to happen for this year. This is going to dig into next year. This is going to dig into 2024. And if you're not prepared, if you're not working to, you, you don't have your own agenda. If you're not working to improve your situation, it's just going to keep getting worse. It's just going to keep getting worse because once again, we're not into the job segment of the football game. Right now, unemployment is very, very low. 2023 and 2024, that will not be the case. So while you still have your job, you need to get your act together because I don't want to sit here and commiserate with you. I don't want to like, well, you know, prices are going up. It's just getting worse. What can one do? There's nothing you could do. I feel that is the wrong attitude to deploy in this current economic situation. There's plenty you can do and you need to act now. Once again, first thing, you got to get out of debt. You got to get out of debt and you've got to manage your money better. This is a fact. And if this means that, you know, you're currently living in an apartment and you're struggling, you might need to move back home with your parents and get some of this debt paid off and get you a savings account. Because as I put it in the video, you know, they, they'll tell you three to six months. No, 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 no. You need 12 to 24 months of a savings account because I feel that we're at the beginning of a prolonged economic reduction in the economy. I think that this is just the first quarter of the football game and we got this massive inflation that is knocking people upside their head. And OPEC just reduced the, the output production of oil by 2 million barrels a day. So the price of gas is going up. Once again, I was checking out some energy stocks, petroleum, energy, all these stocks are doing well because the prices are going up and you cannot not buy gas. You cannot buy heating oil. You cannot buy electricity. You have to have these things. So right now, is the time for you to sit down, prepare yourself, and come up with a game plan. It just to put your head in the stand and just keep going like when inflation's hitting me, I'm maxing out my credit cards, I'm, I may have to sell my stocks. That is not the solution because you have a finite amount of savings, you have a finite amount of stock. What you want to do, and I'm saying this for the third time, make more money. Because having a cash flowing business, even a small cash flowing business, even if you had a business that made you a thousand bucks a month, during these inflationary times, a thousand dollars per month could be the difference between eating and not eating. So it's not going to take, you don't have to make 10 or 20 or 30 or $40,000 a month, but you do need to make an extra thousand. That will go a long way to improving your situation. So instead of commiserating and just saying and panicking, that's the worst thing you can do. The worst thing you do is panic because, um, that's not going to help you. And from what I see, what I am forecasting is this thing is going to go on for years. We may have record high inflation for another year or so. And what are you going to do? There's only so much belt tightening you can do because you're already stressed. 
You're already maxed out. You're already living above your means. So you can cut back, but one of the things that you have to do is get real, realistic, and then change what you're currently doing because what you're currently doing isn't going to work in this economic cycle. It's just not. So yes, inflation is going up. Yes, the Fed is raising interest rates. The question is, what are you going to do about it?